guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. For this week's tutorial, so many of you requested something Harry Potter themed. And so I've teamed up with four amazing people, Mimi, Mano, and Mael. And so we're collaborating to bring you guys four Harry Potter themed tutorials. So make sure you check out their videos and their channels and subscribe if you're there. I absolutely love how each one of us brought our personalities and our styles into this collab. And so for my part, you guys will learn how to make your very own miniature Hogwarts castle. Now, obviously this is not to scale and there are lots of buildings missing, but of course that depends on how much detail you want to put into it. I absolutely love the hill and the aged look on the castle. You can of course add a tiny boat and other buildings. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, there are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. If you like my resin projects, I will leave a link for the playlist in the description box below. And if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Tan, ecru, blue, green, polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. Liquid Sculpey, rounded in pointy tools and a cutter. Foil paper and a toothbrush for texturing. Your resin kit and colorant as well as some chalk pastels. The first thing we're going to do are the towers. Take your beige clay and roll a chubby snake. Cut off the ends, flatten a piece of clay and wrap a slice around the bottom and the top. Make some crevices on the top one. To make the cone roof, roll a ball of blue clay and only roll one part so that it narrows only that part. Cut off the rounded end and place it on your tower. Of course, use liquid Sculpey to make it stick more firmly. Make as many towers in the sizes that you need. I made eight of them. Add windows by poking them with your pointy tool and of course do that to all of them and add texture to the roofs if you want. For the rectangular buildings, shape a piece of clay by pushing it on all sides on your work surface. Then slice it with your cutter to get a straighter shape. Roll a piece of clay and put it around the tower. Make the triangle roof by loosely making a triangle shape with your blue clay and slicing it to fit the top. Now add details by making tiny cone towers and putting them on the rectangular tower. As well, don't forget to make holes for the windows and doors. Make sure you do that on all visible sides. Make as many of these towers as you need. I made three of them. Now shade your towers and roofs with some chalk pastels to give it more of an aged look. If you don't have chalk pastels, that's okay. You can use brown paint and I will show you how after. Now bake all of your towers for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven is always preheated. Once it's baked, let's make the base. Crumple a piece of aluminum foil and cover it with a thin sheet of tan clay. Add more clay where needed to build the base. Of course, you will keep shaping it so that it looks as close as possible to the actual hill. The size will depend on how big or small you make your towers. Use foil paper to texture your piece, of course, to make it look like rocks, and you're going to use also a toothbrush to get into those little crevices. Now you're going to also shade it with dark brown chalk pastels. Once it's shaded, place your towers lightly and fill the space in between by making shorter buildings. Cut rectangular shapes and triangular roofs in the same way we did earlier, except flatter. Use liquid Sculpey to make the pieces stick more firmly. I work from a reference sheet, so make sure that you put the details that you want. Get as creative as you like with this architecture. For the surrounding area, add a small bridge and the remaining towers, then some more tan clay to close up any gaps that are still visible. I realized that I needed more clay on the side for the path, so I added it, textured and shaded. Once that's done, add some greenery. Watch my Legend of Zelda environment 
for more greenery information. We're almost there! Flatten a piece of clay, place your castle hill, cut around it and make a border. Blend the edges to avoid any spilling and seal it with liquid Sculpey for extra protection. Watch my Stingray tank for more details on this. Now bake it for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, if you want an aged look, use brown paint to get into the little crevices and wipe off the excess with a damp paper towel. This will give your piece a whole new level of depth. The final step is to mix your resin according to package instructions, add some colorant, and then pour it. Let it fully harden overnight. If you're new to resin, make sure you watch my resin crafting tips video. All videos mentioned will be in description box below. All done! If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on all my social media if you want to stay in touch. Until then, I will see you guys next week.